Hello, sixth graders. So today in lesson 15, we will be talking about house blessing. The word sacrament originates from the Syriac word gabish. The meaning of the word sacrament is to make holy. Sacraments are visible signs which signify and produce what they signify. There are seven sacraments in the church, but besides those, there are also sacramentals, which are church blessing and house blessing. Through the service of house blessing, a house is sanctified and prayers are said so that the tranquility and peace of God may remain there. For a house blessing, the following preparations are to be made. A cross is kneaded on the table, along with it two lighted candles, water in a vessel for blessing, and a sprinkler. The house should be kept clean for the service. In the introductory prayer, the priest, wearing the black robe and stole, or the hymnico, starts the introductory prayer of the service of house blessing. In the introductory prayer, the priest entreats the tranquility and peace of the Lord may dwell in the house and be filled with goodness and prosperity. It is also prayed that they may please God throughout their life and their departed might be granted good remembrance and consolation. The Cuclion is sang after the introductory prayer. Let's hear it right now. In the Cuclion, we call and entreat the Lord who guides our path. O Lord, to you I lift up my soul. Since I trusted in you, do not let me be put to shame. Lord, show me your paths and teach me your, in your truth. That's Psalm 25, verse 1 to 15. The Ekbo follows the Kuklion, is one of the characteristic features of the Malangra liturgy. This is the prayer for salvation. We pray here, O God, lover of men, just as you save prophet Jonah from the sea, save me also in your grace from my manifold injustices. Thank you. 
priest prays that the house may be blessed through his intercession and that prosperity might come upon all those gathered. The basic unit of the community is the family. Every church community is composed of several families. Just as divine grace flows from the church to her children, divine grace might flow from families to the members of families. At the time of the house blessing, we pray for the graces and gifts of the Holy Spirit. As a result, the holiness and purity of the church subsist in the family. We sing, O gracious Lord at your door, is sung during this time. Generally, the gospel according to Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10 is read at the time of the house blessing. The house of Zacchaeus is one among the few houses Jesus visited during his public life. Zacchaeus had two conversion in the presence of Jesus. Through that, the house of Zacchaeus got salvation. This gospel passage reminds us that our house, too, gets that salvation when Jesus comes and dwells in it. The petition of Mar Jacob of Edessa is sung after the reading of the gospel. Mar Jacob of Edessa has written the hymn, Nada Menore Adrda Nereim. us how to pray. We are reminded of how through Moses' prayer the sea was divided and God protected the people of Israel. God accepted the repentance of David and through their prayers God protected Hananiah and his companions from the furnace of fire. After the special prayers each room in the house is blessed in the name of the Holy Trinity with the holy water making the sign of the cross on the doors. The house of Israel were protected at the time of the past by marking the lintels with the blood of the tender lamb. 
Like that, God promises protection and blessing at the time of house blessing. The priest blesses water in the name of the Holy Trinity and sprinkles on the lintels on the community. By doing this, he ensures the protection from diabolical assaults and imparts divine blessing. After the blessing, the Kuklion of the Mother of God and of the saints is sung, seeking their intercession. Following the Kuklion, the hymn composed by the Eastern Father Mar Ephraim is sung. The Huttama is the concluding prayer where we thank God for all his blessings. The priest blesses all those who have participated in the service in the name of the Holy Trinity. Lord, and the of me, and for the saints, bless this house. And it's in me, Signora, that love for us. The whole house is blessed in the name of the Holy Trinity through the house blessing. The sanctification of the inmates of the house takes place in the service. By dedicating the family through the prayers, the protection of Jesus is requested for and the control of the house is entrusted in the hands of the Lord. Thus the house is made holy. Those who dwell in the house are blessed and the house becomes the dwelling place of God. The house blessing is the time of God's blessing. Let us devoutly take part in this service where God specially blesses our house. Now here's your Bible verse to memorize. Today salvation has come to this house. Luke chapter 19 verse 9. Now here are your questions for this lesson. What is a sacrament? What is the meaning of the word? What is the importance of house blessing? What preparations are necessary for this? What is the gospel passage read in the service of house blessing? Finally, which tradition of the Old Testament do we follow in the house blessing? For this week's activity, learn the songs of the house blessing and record the song Kindly open your merciful door to me, Lord. Okay, sixth graders, that's all for Sunday school today. Don't forget to review your lesson as well as learn the hymns for the house blessing and answer your activity questions. Have a wonderful week. God bless. Bye.